on today guys Royce here and today as you guys can see behind me we got a special guest rolling with us today what's going on babe hi YouTube what's up what's up so the planet well let's go show you so the snow I, as you guys can, I mean it's there to say the least the snow kind of went away I mean I'm not gonna say it went away because definitely up in the mountains there's definitely snow matter of fact we actually just went out last weekend and I tried filming a video uh, it didn't go to plan uh, here's the, here's the clips Sweet. Well, guys, to uh, say the least, the snow is actual concrete. <laughs> what do you think of the snow? Oh, it's we, definitely we holding today. true to Cascade concrete. Yeah, she is. That's with some effort. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys could see, I mean, there was like literally no snow that you could physically like break into and like actually get into some good writing. The problem is, is it snowed quite a bit and then it warmed up and then it got super cold so it just turned into this just absolute ice layer. Now down here, the snow is actually a little bit better, which is uh, pretty good for us because today, oh, today we are getting the bad girl out and we are gonna go do some 370 goon ripping. Don't get me wrong, if it was good weather, I would 100% rather be up on the mountains, out in like three feet, two feet of powder, just shredding up the gnarly hills. However, we're working with what we have. Honestly, the snow is a little bit better down here because it's kind of a little bit softer. You can kind of break into it a little bit more. So, Without further ado, let's get this bad chicken out on the road and uh, let's get ripping. Let's see how she looks. <laughs> I think this thing looks better and better as it ages. I, I truly do. Well, today we actually don't have to rub gas from the uh, generator. I don't know if you guys recall from the last video, but we had to rub some gas from the generator, unfortunately. Uh, check this out, babe. Definitely a lot easier than last time. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Stop. What are you thinking so far, babe? Well, considering that we have the shovel right here, it's a very yeah. interesting ride. Yeah, definitely a little interesting. Uh, got the shovel underneath of us so we can uh, hopefully build a booter. The snow is uh, starting to stack up a little bit. Nowhere as much as we need it to. And, uh, well, we still got some more to climb, so let's continue in. <laughs> Uh, we've made it on top of the ridge. Beautiful girlfriend is behind the camera right here. And I think we found a pretty decent spot for at least one jump today. Right right about here, I already went for a little test boot. And I wasn't going too fast here. And we already landed all the way out over there, which actually, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good send. That's at least 10 feet. I mean, just kind of barely hitting it. I think with some speed, babe, this one uh, might have some potential to uh, get some good air time on this. So I'm looking forward to it. We got to build it up with the shovel here and uh, go for the send. <sighs> Burning some calories today. Funny side note, I actually had a uh, chiropractor appointment the other day. I guess my back is a little bit not quite aligned properly. So that is kind of one reason that I'm kind of taking a break from snowmobiling. But as I say that, I'm building a jump to land on super hard crusted snow on the 370 with completely blown out suspension. So really, I'm not doing myself a favor at all. <laughs> hey, babe, let's see if you can try and touch the ground with the shovel. We're getting close, but I gotta say, it's a lot deeper than I was thinking. Oh, I think that's it. It's I the gold! It. <laughs> I will say, whoever hits this hole after me, I am truly sorry. <laughs> I think for this first one, it's just going to be a little testy. We're going to give it a little boot, see how far it's going to send me, and uh, then we'll start cranking it up from there. So let's get to the top of the hill. I 
good too. <laughs> well, in that case, now I actually have to send it one more time. I'm going to try to make it to... Plan is to land here. That's at least like a 30 foot jump. I mean, plus the air time. That's a pretty good jump for the 370. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to call out on this one. I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> Smokes. I came off so sideways. Well, somehow I talked the girlfriend into trying out the jump. Babe, are you excited? No. You think you'll make it at least? No. Well, those are uh, definitely words of enthusiasm. <laughs> Smooth. Looking good, babe. Looking real good. She did it! Yeah! Heck yeah, babe, nice one. Am I supposed to sit down or stand up? What, whatever feels the most comfortable. Usually probably standing up, because then you can kind of use your legs as like suspension, you know, when you land. But whatever feels most comfortable. She said one more. Yeah! I get scared right at the last second. Right at the last second? Yeah. Well, hey, you're doing it at least. I, was that the first time you ever caught air on a snowmobile? I think so. <laughs> I think I would feel more comfortable on a bigger snow snowmobile. Really? This thing's a family cruiser. Well, we ended up finding a little bit of decent snow out here. We'll see what this thing can't do off the trail. It's got to be uh, at least semi-decent. I mean, it's got the long track. It's got the uh, three-inch lugs and everything. So, should be no problemo. <laughs> the mountain. <laughs> well now guys we are on the uh, back side over here and as you guys can see definitely a little bit deeper a little bit steeper uh not really too sure if this thing's gonna make it but we're for sure gonna give it a shot what do you think babe <laughs> i think it's way too risky hey we aren't making good content if we aren't risking it a little bit here <laughs> Check out this view. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Well, I guess it would if there was about three extra feet of snow, but other than that, it doesn't get much better than this. I think we actually just found the perfect, like, natural booter. So I'm going to come from right about over in here, shoot this, and try to clear this double. I mean, it's like a perfectly made double. I was just passing by on the trail, and I mean, we have to hit it if it's right there. <laughs>
right, babe, the cameras are back on you. I parked her down at the bottom. She's got to climb this hill out. You think you got it? Yeah. <laughs> Hit it. Oh, she's got some pepper going into it. There's nothing better than getting the girlfriend out on the goon sled. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Holy smokes guys, she had some speed on that one. Looking good babe, looking real good. And just like that guys, we are going to wrap up today's vlog. Hope you guys still enjoyed even though we have a uh, slight snow drought that we're dealing with at the moment. But I can guarantee as soon as the snow starts coming back, we will be snowmobiling some more. There's some more snow in the forecast which is exciting but it's not quite the totals that I want to see quite yet. Now I'm guessing within the next about 15 days we should start seeing that snow really really start to stack up once again. If you guys haven't seen my last video which we were actually doing some pretty sweet jumping, go check it out. It's the last video that I just posted. I think it's called jumping my snowmobile big or building a big snowmobile jump. But if you guys haven't checked out that video, please do check it out. Definitely put a lot of time into it and had some fun filming that one. And if you guys haven't already, click the bell notification. Subscribe if you guys are new. That's the best way to ensure that when I post a video, you guys are able to see it all the time. So with all that said, like, comment, subscribe. Like I say always, comment some video ideas. I'm 100% down to do them. And this has been Royce. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out.